can you believe it? It's been a whole week since we last did a funnel forecast and so much has happened. But what's happened to our league table? Let's find out. And the cross by Heffernan. And was that a foul? That's a goal anyway from Funnel. From Funnel. From Funnel. And the man is here himself to defend uh, well, his credentials, I guess. Tony Funnel, how are you? <laughs> Very well. Yeah, looking forward to tonight. Yeah. And I wonder, Tony, have you had a look to see how you did or have you just ignored? Are you having like a media blackout or are you, are you aware of how you got on this week? No, I'm interested in it. Okay. I got, I think I got eight points. Yeah, which sounds like a good number, doesn't it? Sounds good, but um, it, it sounds good. And in our league, it's quite good. But go to the big boys league, the big super six, 27 points someone got. You're joking. Five, five results and one game correct. You know, five correct scores and one result of the game correct. That's crazy. How do they do that? I can't do that. I well, I might do it this week. You never know. You never know. Tony, I've got faith in you. I've got, I've got every faith <laughs> in you. So let's, uh, let's have a little look at how you got on this week. Uh, here we go. So we're going to have a little look at the... We're looking at the league here, aren't we? This is fantastic. This is so exciting to have a league. Yes. If you have a look there, joint second place... On 12 points there, Naomi Jenkins, my daughter-in-law. Oh, is it? She's above me. <laughs> She's above you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's very charitable of you, Tony, to tell her all the right answers and you went with the wrong ones. But, you know, we need to get back on track this week. That's We've actually right. got the top of the league there, uh, regular on, uh, on, the, on the pod and, and on, the, on the YouTube videos there, Louis. Hey, Louis, how you doing, buddy, out there in TV land? Now, I know uh, Louis quite well, and he'll be absolutely pleased, you know, chuffed to bits that he's up there, top of the league, Tony, and, and beating you. Uh, he yeah. has wanted a bottle opener his whole life, even before we came up with them. So um, it's really exciting stuff for him. What Louis's got to remember, this is a marathon, not a Very sprint. Very good point, Tony. He, sh he, sh he shot up there too early, possibly. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we're looking through your results there, uh, Tony. I think these were your predictions, weren't they? Yeah, they called me 2-1 Tony. 2-1 Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a 1-2 Tony because you wouldn't pass back. Is that right? No, I, that's not true. Yeah, uh, give him a 1-2. It's only one because he shoots. Yeah, exactly. Um Hey, they're not too far off, are they? I mean, you, you got the you got pretty close on the Newcastle West Ham there. You went the wrong way with the the Southampton Crystal Palace. But Couldn't I don't believe think, that. No, Couldn't I don't think anyone that. saw that coming, did they? Um, and then yeah. they go and lose to Brentford in the week. And I thought, well, I'll have a quick look at Southampton's side because they've obviously left quite a few out. They yeah. didn't. No, they had a strong yeah. side out. Very strong side. I think they made that like, one change, didn't they? Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, you got pretty close with the Bournemouth result, really, Tony. Yeah. One time I thought I was there, but um, in the end, I didn't mind as long as Bournemouth won. <laughs> I think we beat them 3-2 before, funny enough. Um, so I almost went with 3-2. I went with 3-1. So I, I was pretty close on that one. And then yeah. we've got uh, well, your Norwich results. So you, you went the right way in there. It was Derby let me down, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really. I don't think anyone, nobody was really sure about what was going to happen that one, uh, that, that Derby Reading. Yeah. And normally Derby start the season well and then fade away. Maybe they're going to do the reverse this year. That's it. You uh, don't know. Yeah. You just don't know. Okay. Well, uh, Tony, are you aware of how Bournemouth got on this week? Obviously, you are. Yes. Another yeah. win. Another win. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of the goals yet or not. There's a, a TV programme on called uh, on, on, the, on the Quest channel, which play all the goals after the game. No, I didn't see that, no. But I did tune in to Back of the Net and watch Sam. Yeah. Watching the penalties go in. <laughs> oh, in the midweek game. Wasn't that yeah. fantastic? Yeah, it was good. That's great. That We're hoping for, for um, penalties every week, just so that <laughs> Sam and Tom can do that because... <laughs> It was just brilliant. If you haven't seen that yet on Back of the Net, you've got to go and watch. 
the the expressions on their face and the fact that they are chatting about football and both those gentlemen they know their stuff in my opinion yeah, but they, they, were, did, them, yeah. they, they were quite often so wrong yeah. <laughs> about what was going to happen which i just loved um so yeah uh, respect to them for doing it it was an excellent excellent bit of, of footage um so before we do the predictions this week then tony uh, what we thought we'd do um because i've had a few people email me tony phone me shout at me in the street and they've been saying to me mr tiggs uh, i don't really know this tony tony funnel guy too well tell me a bit about him and i've said to them well i do know tony quite well i work with tony tony's an excellent football coach i know this but they want to know more about your background tony so what we thought we'd do is we'd go a little bit back in your scrapbook and start having a little look and i wonder if you could talk us through some of these pictures we're looking at now yeah that's in the days when i was playing for eastbourne united there and uh new haven uh basically what happened was i played for my school's team and my local boys club and then when i was 15 i think i decided but i don't know if my dad probably said it'd be good for me i joined men's football I think my dad thought it would build me up and be better for me. So I never played any youth football at all. I just went in a, uh, some men's teams. I played for Seaford, uh, close to Brighton, and I played for New Haven. And uh, the last club I played for was Eastbourne United. But, yeah, I, and I was lucky. I was lucky because I played in some really good teams, local, good local strong teams in Sussex. And uh, I got helped by, you know, most of the players. Because, you know, I was a young boy, all the, all the others, they're all men. Mm. But, yeah, I enjoyed it. And with New Haven, we, uh, we actually won the Sussex League. So I, I you possibly got a picture of um, the trophy for New Haven. That picture there is Eastbourne United, when I played for Eastbourne United. That was just before there. That's the trophy, Sussex. That's the oldest player in the team, and that's the youngest player in the team. Wow, look at that picture you took. Tony, you've hardly changed at all. That hair don't look too good, though, does it? <laughs> Do you it know what? Too... It all comes back round in fashion, Tony. You you wait. Yeah. They'll all be looking like that. You'll see, you know, all the players. You know, it's like a messy haircut. Oh, yeah. what team's that there, Tony? That's New Haven. That's the team. We won the, uh, the Sussex County League. And I noticed in your press cuttings there, it said about you scoring a double there. Have you always played up front? I used to always play on the wing. Okay. And I probably played on the wing in most of these games. It wasn't until I got to Southampton that uh, what happened was we'd jump ahead now to Southampton. I was in the reserve team and we had a coach looked after us called George Horsfall, lovely bloke. And uh, I used to play on the wing. And sometimes I'd be on the right wing, sometimes I'd be on the left wing. And like, George is shouting at me. He's thinking I'm on the right, but I'm on the left. You don't know where I am. And one day he said, I'm fed up with this. He said, I'm going to put you straight out the middle. You go wherever you want. And that changed it for me. Wow. Yeah. I was, you know, when I went straight out the middle, I did. I scored a lot more goals and uh, I was a lot more comfortable. Wow. Sometimes I was out of the game too long, out on the wing. That's why I used to swap from wing to wing. Yeah. Did you tell the other winger you were going to do that or did you just, <laughs> just give him a tap on the shoulder? <laughs> I just <laughs> used to come past him and said, I'm over here now. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. Um, and uh, is it all right, Tony, we have a little look at some, some photos each week? Yeah, that'd be great, yeah. Yeah, yeah that'd, be lovely. That'd, that'd be lovely for us and our, and our viewers. Um, so should we have a little look at predictions for this week? Yes. I've not done mine yet, Tony, because I'm going to wait until you've done yours. I'm going to do this each week, I think, and just see what you go with before making my choice. So the first game we've got there are Leeds against Fulham. Now, both of those teams have just been promoted, haven't they? I know, yeah. And um, the Leeds game against uh, Liverpool, that was a shock. Mm. I actually, I backed Leeds, uh, sorry, I backed Liverpool to win and goals galore. And when, right. Leeds scored, when Leeds scored, I thought, here we go, that's it, because Liverpool are, are bound to score. Yeah. But I didn't, I didn't think it'd be 4 3, but I won me bet in the end anyway. So that was good. I'm actually going to go, I'm going against Fulham. I'm going to go 3 1 to Leeds. 
Fab. Okay. Let's have a look at the next one. Ah, look at that. Now, would you believe it? We can't be on here every week, but we are on here again. It's That's the it. Bournemouth game away to Middlesbrough. Um, without their manager, we're hearing uh, as of yesterday. Uh, Mr. Warnock will not be there because he's, he's tested positive for COVID. Oh, right. Oh. So he's essentially giving himself a touchline ban, Tony. Um, right. What do you think might happen here? Yeah, I didn't expect this. Um because I thought last week we was on, it'd be back to Premiership games this week. So uh, mm. this is good to be in uh, Bournemouth again. And I, I've been thinking all week, 1-1. One, one. But my prediction is 2-1 Bournemouth. Love it. Love it. Yeah, really interesting. We don't know who's going to be playing in that Bournemouth team because Harry Arter featured in the week. We don't know if he's got a future there. We've got... Josh King's come back, and there was pictures of him training yesterday, looking all smiles. Oh, right. Yeah, so, interesting. I just don't yeah. know. <laughs> Begovic could be in goal. Who knows? Anyway, we've got Sheffield Wednesday against Watford. Another championship game. This is crazy. I know. What's going to happen here? Do you know what? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> this is, I heard the noise, Tony. It was like a... I know, I'm I'm sort of on the fence on this one. I think I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Another championship. The Premier League not playing this week. We've got, uh, now we've got Norwich against Preston North End. Yeah, I'm going for another win for Norwich. This time, 2-1 to Norwich. Yeah. They got a big squad that Norwich team. They can they can do a lot of things. I think this season, another championship game. Are they kind of, uh, Brentford against Huddersfield? Yeah, so good win in the week for Brentford, mm. uh, and I'm going for another win for them on Saturday. Two 0 Brentford. Right. Okay. Good. Yeah, they look strong, don't they? I, I'm really I'm really excited. I was talking to Sam. And, uh, and, and Paul Cameron about this the other day. I'm really excited to play them. I think them and Norwich and Watford, they're the games I'm really looking forward to because they will give a real show, you know, a real test of Bournemouth and, and where we're actually at. Oh, definitely, um, yeah. Uh, and then we've got another championship game, Swansea against Birmingham. Yeah. If I said to you, what do you normally pick, Tony? What result? What is your favourite result? I know what it's going to be, Tony. It's going to be a 2-1. 2-1, Tony, yeah. 2-1, Tony's going to win. 2-1, Tony. Wants you to win. Yeah, OK. Well, that was excellent, wasn't it? We've got to make our golden goal prediction. What what time do you think the first... You got it already. What's it going to be? Six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes in the Super 6. Have you got a lucky number, Tony? Yeah, seven. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Um, if, I, I know there's going to be some people sitting there thinking, what are these two guys talking about? That's not the result. That's not what it's going to be. Well, we're challenging you. It's not too late to join our league. Come and hop in. Uh, Sam will flash up the, the code in a minute for us. Uh, and um, you can come get the app, join in. We'll go on the website. And maybe you could be next week's Louis. Top of the league. I uh, mentioned on here. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's nice the big league, the main league, but if you're in our league, it's more localised. Yeah. And we're all probably much the same at picking the teams. So hopefully no one's going to go too far ahead. And uh, quite a lot of people in our league have got a chance of, you know, getting at the top or going up there one week, Louis, and then back down the next week. I don't mean that, Louis. Good luck to you. Yeah, good luck to you, Louis. And, I, and I, I'm, I'm sort of trying to convince Sam to, to go into the, the coffee kitty to get us some prizes. So uh, there'll be something at the end there for, for the winner. Um, I think we better go now because for some reason, Tony, it's getting lighter in your room and darker in mine. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why this is. Uh, I need to change rooms, I think, for next week. Uh, the evenings are drawing in and so is this weekend's fixtures. Get in on the app. Make your predictions. 
and we'll see you very, very soon. Adios, Tony. See you later. Adios to you.